Hey guys, it's me, David, and guys, I'm announcing the next mock. Finally! Um, literally the last year, guys, you guys have been commenting and emailing me, David, what is the next mock gonna be? Of course, what I'm talking about is uh, at the end of building Kashyyyk, I talked to you guys, hey, this will probably not be the last mock. And of course, it isn't going to be the last mock. I'm going to go on and make another mock, of course. I took a year off, though, a little longer than I expected, before I decided ultimately what the next mock should be. So, drum roll, please. That's, that's horrible. But, um, guys, I've decided ultimately that I'm going to build Scarif from Rogue One. And I think this is a great choice. Um, I have... I have been going back and forth so much over the last couple months of what should the next mock be. Because something like this requires ultimate commitment for a very long time. Now, you guys can hold me to this. I don't plan on spending another two years on one specific mock like I did with building Kashyyyk. Um, I plan to get this mock done hopefully within six months, no later than before episode eight comes out at the end of 2017, uh, December 17th, I believe. Um, so that is kind of my deadline, is to have everything done by then. Um, now this video is an announcement video, this is not week one. Week one will actually be not this Friday, but the following Friday, and I'll put the date up right here in front of the video. You guys can see it, that's the date where week one will start, and that of course will be the prep video, just like Kashyyyk. Um, now, another thing I think you guys might say is, well, David, you did your whole, you know, building Kashyyyk, you, you explained how you build things, and, you know, you spent all 56 weeks uh, showing how you built that, and then you had the finale, and, you know, you had the, the final mock, so why don't you just do the final mock this time, because we've already seen how you build, and, you know, I've thought about that as well, but I think it's just, this is going to be a different type of mock, okay, this is not going to be, it is going to be similar to Kashyyyk in a way, because it's a beach kind of, uh, jungle type of thing and that's similar to what at least part of Kashyyyk was um, now uh, I'll talk more about this on week one but um in terms of what I'm building of Scarif is still something we're going to talk about in week one and I'll have you guys help me out with what specifically I have a I'm definitely gonna build at least a part of the beach but I'm not sure whether I want to build part of the security building you know the giant freaking building that uh, they steal the plans the Death Star from the or the I think it's called the security building there's actually maybe a more specific name for it I'm gonna call it the security building anyhow um, so that's something we're gonna talk about week one um, and then the last thing I want to talk about I want to make this video kind of short is why did I choose Scarif um, why did I choose Scarif over Umbara over um, Mustafar over um, you know, maybe one of the, you know, maybe Cloud City based off the Battlefront game. Cloud City was one of my perfect, uh, one of my favorite DLC maps, so that's why I was considering that um, from Battlefront. Uh, it's a great game. Wish there was a story. Getting a little off topic there. But anyhow, uh, so I, I thought about a lot of different things. Umbara was actually the ones that I, was one that I was really close to doing, actually. And I wasn't going to do the Umbara battle. I was thinking about doing the Umbara capital city. Because at the end of the Umbara Clone Wars TV show arc, they say, oh, now it's on to the city to meet with Obi-Wan and finish the fight after the capture of uh, General Krell. Um, so I was really thinking, oh, how cool would that be to build something that never was really imagined on the TV show. Um, so that was literally almost neck and neck. That was probably the ultimate alternative to Scarif. But coming off seeing Rogue One, seeing that amazing last 45 minutes of that movie, don't get me wrong, the entire movie of Rogue One was awesome, but a lot of Star Wars fans definitely agree that the last 45 minutes, the last hour of Scarif, uh, being on Scarif in the space battle above, everything about that was just amazing. It really, I remember, you know, seeing Rogue One and uh, the first time, the midnight release, Scarif, the whole Scarif action sequence happened, and then at the end of it, you know, with the, of course the Darth Vader sequence. I hope a lot of you, everybody who's watching this video, hopefully has seen Rogue One. If you haven't, what's wrong with you? Um, but anyhow, of course the Darth Vader scene, and, and then of course it ends after that, a little bit after, you know, Princess Leia and all that. Um, and then I just remember the movie ending, I'm just like, 
what just happened? How amazing was this? What? And then other Star Wars fans, this is the midnight release. This is where the Star Wars hardcore fans come out. And us Star Wars fans, just random people that I don't know, we're just looking at each other like, what? And you know, that that was that was a special moment. Now, that happened too in um, Star Wars The Force Awakens, but it wasn't nearly as like jaw-dropping to like, of course, you know, the Luke thing was awesome and like, whoa, now what's going to happen now? Oh my god, crazy. You know, it's like, is Rey and Luke related? Maybe they're not. Maybe he's not. Well, I don't know. But um, it was a it was a much different feeling with Rogue One. And I think uh, that that feeling really was emphasized because of the whole Scarif ending. Um, and, and I think building Scarif will be an awesome achievement. Um, I don't plan on making it the size of Kashyyyk. It will be smaller. And that's how I'm going to be able to do it within less than a year. Um, I could actually probably get it done in six months if I really, really try. Um, because I actually know what I'm doing this time. Kashyyyk was nothing but a giant experiment. I didn't, at, at one point, Kashyyyk, I never thought I was going to get it done. Uh, so, <laughs> it really is a giant experiment doing this, uh, or doing that. But doing this, I'm going in, these are the type, this is, I have a basic, you know, I can look back at Kashyyyk and say, okay, this is where I uh, kind of screwed up on. I spent too much time here and I should have been doing this. So it, basically I can crush a lot more things together. I don't need to spend as much time in certain videos. That way we can speed the process up much faster and make the videos more entertaining for you guys. Um, now, I also want to say that Scarif, building Scarif, that's of course what's going to be called. Um, it will not be the only Scarif mock that will probably be built in 2017. I specifically know, at least from what I've been told, uh, Brick Plumber, and if you aren't familiar with that name, that is the guy who built the amazing, literally garage-sized Hoth mock. I'm sure you've seen it on the internet. You may not know the name specifically to that mock, but if you Google Lego Hoth mock, it's one of the first things that comes up, and it's amazing. It's literally, it's one of my inspirations for wanting to build the size that Kashyyyk was, is because of the size that Brick Plumber built. And I specifically talked to him and uh, I, you know, uh, he actually helped me out with a per part of Kashyyyk, so I really did owe him, but he's actually building Scarif as well. So I honestly think he'll probably build a better version, if not maybe the same, like, like similar to what we build. I'm not sure what he's building. I hope he builds a security building, then maybe I can build a beach or maybe he'll do both. I don't know, it'd be really interesting. I'd like to, I'm sure we'll talk about it and help each other and give ideas to each other. That's what's awesome about the Lego community. Um, but yeah, so point is, is there's be gonna be other people. I'm sure you guys will be inspired to build Scarif. That's 100% fine. Um, I don't, I'm not all about competition. Who's Who's gotta be the best builder? Who's gotta look the best? I just wanna make something that you guys enjoy, whether it's the very best on the internet. I don't really think that matters just as long as it's accurate to the scenes for the most part. Um, and just conveys Scarif. When you look at it, you'll be like, oh, that's Scarif from Rogue One. As long as it does that, then that's all that really matters, right? Um, so yeah, all right, I'm rambling on a little bit too much. So once again, date, this is the date, week one, building Scarif. Let me down in the comments below, what did you think about my Ambara idea? I, I'm, I'm very curious, did I make the right decision, guys? Should I have done Ambara, or do you think Scarif is a safe play? Let me, down, let me know down in the comments below. And then as for once Scarif's done, of course that's a while away, uh, I do plan on probably doing something from either episode seven or episode eight, probably likely episode eight. Oh, that's another thing, Starkiller base was also considered, but there's just not enough from episode eight that I could make a, a good size mock within a small space. And that goes into a much longer talk. All right guys, so if you enjoyed this video, of course, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, I understand. Um, Hit that subscribe button, because if you're excited for Scarif, you're gonna need to stay subscribed to see these weekly videos. Of course, they'll be every Friday, just like how Building Kashyyyk was. Um, I'm very excited, honestly, guys. This is, we're getting back into it. And I also wanna lastly just say that Scarif is gonna be much different than how I did Kashyyyk. Uh, because um, what you saw, what you see behind me, this is the space I have, is this one table. I won't, I do have the ping pong table, as you saw in that uh, update video a couple weeks ago. Um, but, you know, I'm just going to save it for week one. I'm going to leave on that note. You guys, you guys, you guys got to watch week one if you want to find out.
what's going to happen? How am I going to do it? That's, that's part of week one. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. Bye-bye.